Well, hello, Shoreline. This is your Wednesday devotional tucked right in between Christmas and New Year's. And, and I want to share a passage with you that's about how God does new things. It's actually in the book of Revelation where all things will be made new, and that's kind of the focus of the passage. But I want you to think about this new year and the God who is a God of new things. And he has new things planned for you. He has, he has better plans for you, for you than you imagine or dream. So just listen to these words from Revelation chapter 21, beginning in verse 1. And this is a vision. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. What a picture. Then I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and will be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Our God is a God who makes everything new. In our world, things begin and things end. We, we sometimes want to hold on to things longer than we should, but God is always doing a new thing. I love how the Bible often says, sing a new song to the Lord. Old songs are fine, but God likes fresh new things. And so as you come to the end of one year and kind of peek over the edge into 2021, my prayer is it's going to be an amazing year where God does new and incredible things in your life that surprise you and that bring Him glory. So God is a God of brings things to ends and beginnings. I want to encourage you by understanding that God wants to be near you. In this passage, the whole idea is that God wants to be near his people. As you walk into this new year, commit yourself to walk more closely with Jesus than you ever have before. Open up this book every day and read it. Talk to him in prayer. Be in fellowship with God's people. Do whatever you can to get closer to Jesus and to connect with the body of Christ. And third, God is ready to comfort you. Every tear will be wiped away. One day, every tear will be wiped away. But even now, the God who dwells in us by his spirit, one of the names for the Holy Spirit is the comforter. Our God brings comfort. Whatever you're going through right now at the end of this year, the start of a new year that is heavy on your heart, where there's struggle and pain and fear and uncertainty, our God is with you. Let him comfort you. Let him encourage you. Let him hold you close in these days. And then finally, at the end of the passage, we just hear these words, it's God Almighty speaking, and he says, I will make all things new. May your new year be so beautiful and so powerful. May God surprise you with the things he does in you. May God astound you by the things he calls you to do and by the power of his spirit he accomplishes through you. I'm excited for a new year. I'm excited for Shoreline Church and all that God has planned for us. The world is challenging. There's a lot going on, but God is on the throne. That's been a theme all year. I've said to you so many times in these devotionals, God is on the throne. He has great plans. So happy new year. God bless you in the new year. This coming Sunday, I want to encourage you to join us online for worship because we will not be on campus this Sunday. Remember, I told you last week that the Sunday right after Christmas, right after New Year's, we're only going online. So nine o'clock and 11 o'clock, I, I'm looking forward to bringing the message, preaching God's word to kick off your new year. Join us, invite a friend, and we'll see you online this Sunday, 9 and 11. Let me pray for you. Lord Jesus, thank you for your presence and your power. Thank you that you are on the throne. Lord, as we close 2020, as we finish this year behind us that has had a lot of challenges, Lord, you've never left us. You've never forsaken us. Your hand has been upon us. You've guided your people and you've guided your church through a very difficult year. God, we pray as we walk into a new year, you will amaze us with you, the God of new things, doing things in us and through us that bring you glory, that bring us delight, and that shine the light of Jesus in this world. Lead us into a new year with a passion and excitement for all that lies ahead. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and happy new year.